fringe. Yeah, I'm going to put some uh, some other colour on the sides. So you can do anything you want to do with them. Just trim them up a bit. Style them out. I just think it makes it look really effective now. There. There he is. It looks like a cross between Spike off Gremlin and the old trolls. <laughs> yeah. So, like we did before, you just um, pick the colour you want. I don't know whether to do him black at the sides or a, a brighter colour. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to leave it. I can't decide yet. But as soon as you've... Um, I'm just using a little bit of a thing to prop his head up. A little bit of an old silicone thing stuck all over it just to prop him up so I can see where I'm at with it so just if you notice anything that looks out of place pull it out I just think you need some more down this back edge so just make it look even you can do them one at a time like this. Some people will, uh, if I show you on this bit, just go in and stab loads like that. I mean, either way, just, uh, it's your preference. So, there we go. I'll, uh, decide what colour I'm going to have at the side and I'll come back and show you him finished <clears throat> okay thanks for watching don't forget to click the subscribe button thank you right so here he is I've done sort of a two tone on his Mohican it just stands out a bit there's um two different blondes that I've put on him um, see that's the greatness of these alternative ones you can do them however you like how freaky weird and wonderful you like them so there he is my weekend all done Hope you like him. I was just thinking as well whilst doing him. If there's anything you'd like me to cover, um, anything to do with rooting, um, the fangs, what else did I show? Or the, I showed you how to do the following eyes. Um, the video is I think it's on the playlist You can, it's there anyway you'll find it I showed how to do these following eyes you can't really see them properly but yeah I showed you how to do them so if there's anything that you'd like me to do any routine painting eyes anything just comment down below and I'll try and get a video in for you um, but you have to subscribe to this channel otherwise how will you know if I've covered it for you okay so I'll be my next video will probably be 
um, painting, painting the vampires. I haven't got any to show it. Oh, I've got my nun. I'll show you my very first nun that I did. Um, if you don't, don't already know, I'm quite new to this. I've only been doing it about a year, but how much it's grown in that year is unbelievable. So I do recommend starting doing it. Um, sorry, won't be a minute. So this is one of the very first freaky alternative reborns that I did. Um, she's quite a big one, but very freaky. <laughs> I didn't root her. Um, I don't know if I'll get around to rooting her or not. But, um, and she's no fangs, but she's quite freaky. This is the one that sits up on my cupboard watching me. So these are the things that I do. Um, I'll bring Legion down. I've still got Legion at the minute. I've, um, got quite attached to him. <laughs> so I don't tend to advertise him for sale. I did it at the beginning, but I like him too much. So I'll um, I'll come back in a minute. I'll show you Legion. Like I say, you'll see how far I've actually come from this one. What, eleven months ago now? It'll be Dark Crib's birthday in a month. Um, yeah. So I think she was probably the second or third one that I actually did. So I'll, uh, I'll get Legion, um, and just show you, compare them both with each other. Okay, back shortly. Okay, so this is Legion. He weighs just over seven pounds. He's fully rooted hair he's got all the swirl on the back so you see how far i've come just in eight months um i'd say legion is one of my all-time favorites that i've done so far he's from the lee kit i think you you pronounce it lee it's l-i um, and yeah, he was a, a real, real born kit, not the reborns. Um, so that means he's been uh, 3D scanned from an actual baby and made out of that. The reborns come from clay sculpts that are made by artists out there and then they're produced in vinyl. But um, yeah. He is absolutely gorgeous. So, as you can see, the difference in paint techniques um, and everything, and how far I've come. So I stick at it. It's it's a really good hobby to have. Um, let's show you his feet. He's got lovely feet. So there he is. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, if you like that kind of thing. <laughs> right, so thanks for watching. Like I say, on my next video, I'll be showing how I put these together. How I paint them. Um, I don't know if you can see all these veining details on there. So I do lots of vein detail, um, the hair rooting, the fangs. Like I say, it's not Sculpey clay, the fangs. And I'll show you how I actually make them. So there we go. So make sure you subscribe so you can see me making these 
and thanks for watching again. Bye!